Hi, it's Jeff here. This video is designed to show you how you can complete your reports to caregivers from the teaching interface in Edge. First thing that you'd want to do is click on the reports icon in the main menu. This will open up the caregiver report section of Edge and you'll see there the reports that have been configured for you. On the screen the first thing to notice is that we're looking at 2014 so um, if we needed to go back to see last year's reports we could click on the previous button there. In the report selection box we can choose from the available reports that have been configured for our year level and I'm going to choose this top one that says GF school report 2014. The screen will refresh and we'll see the students in our class in the appropriate year levels for that report. Um, you'll notice that uh, next to Rodney we've got reading in progress, writing that says create, maths create and other create. So that tells me that I've started the uh, reading section of his report but I haven't started the other sections yet. So if I want to carry on completing Rodney's report I can click on in progress for the reading section and that will take me into the data entry page. So I've got Rodney's name in the top here, a list of students down the left hand side so I could alternate between different students um, and you'll notice that the reading tab is highlighted and I also have writing, maths and general tabs. On the screen I'll see the latest assessment results that have been entered for Rodney um, so I can look at those as a reference when I'm writing my comments. Further down you'll see the comment boxes that have been configured and this will be dependent on what your report coordinator has configured for you. So in this case I've got three comment boxes, progress against learning goals, next learning steps and how you can help at home. I would just uh, start typing a comment and you'll notice that there's a character count. So I've got 500 characters to work with um, and I have 118 characters remaining in the reading comment. Of course you'll then carry on do the next learning steps and how you can help at home. If you've completed that uh, section of the report you could click entry completed um, and then that would show complete on the report summary page. In this case I'll just click save, it will save the reading comment that I've put in and then I could move on and do the writing maths and general comments. Once I've finished I can then click on report summary down the bottom of the page and that will take me back to the report summary page. When I'm ready to print my report I can just click place a tick in the create report box next to the report I want to create and then click create down the bottom of the page. A report will generate and depending on the browser that you're using it will go into your downloads area in Chrome it's just dropped down to the left hand side of the screen here so I can click on that to open up my report. And here's my report that I've already done. You'll notice also that under the view report column heading you'll see today's date there um, and that also allows me to click on that date to open the report again if I want to. Once I've done all my reports I could click the select all bo box at the top of the screen and then click the create button and what would happen then is that a single file would be generated with all my reports on and the download link would be available to me on the top right hand corner. That's all there is to it. Um, good luck with your report creation.